friends, my name is Boris and Michael is here. Today we are making video how to install open shelf uh, shelving from IKEA. Uh, basically a few months ago I bought the house and the house itself about 50 years old. So obviously it was outdated, all the covers ugly, broken. On top of that we had a soffit which actually took a space. And uh, after spending some time online, I came to conclusion it would be nice to have uh, to put like new covers, new countertops, and on top of that, uh, just install new shelvings. And IKEA, it's I think, to my opinion, kind of come with one of the best options for open shelving. So basically, I went to IKEA, uh, but once i start installing all the instruction was on the swedish uh so basically um i i was trying to install it i opened the instruction and there's nothing in the instruction they not saying exactly how they actually designed to install the open shelving so basically my idea was to put the shelving together uh, put the shelving together and just put the, uh, there's a special railing, put the uh, railing and support straps and just call it good. But after a few attempts, a few hours trying to put the shelving together, I had no luck. And I kind of came with my way how to install the shelving and, and today is a day when I want to not just uh, I want to just contribute to YouTube friends, maybe it's gonna, that way, this video is going to help someone how to install shelving in your house or business. And so it's how shelving look like and here's the shell how I want to actually share with you how to install it. As I said before, there's a support straps right underneath. Uh, you have to find the uh, 2x4, if there is no 2x4 you can go to local store as I did, I went to Home Depot and there's a and there's a drivable anchors which is rated for 50 pounds. However, I don't think the uh, drywall itself not gonna be able to hold 50 pounds, so be careful with that. So uh, first, find the 2x4, if you're not if you're not able to find the, uh, use the drywall anchors, make sure it's level. And once you install it, uh, support straps for the, uh, uh, let's, let's call it facing. As, a, as I said previously, there's a support straps on each side. You make sure it's level, make sure it's secure, diagonal, everything is good. I don't got the issue, guys. And uh, the shelving itself, you can desire the elevation, whatever the, uh, the depth or height of the shelf you wanna, you guys desire. So in my case, what the idea was, I just put the, um, on a, each shelving providing two support arms. Here is the first, it's, uh, in my case, it's, uh, it's going on the left side. First. There's a second support arm, which meant right over here. And uh, where's my shelving itself? Oh! Where did it? Oh, here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting cold. So anyway, <laughs> here's the shelf, and we just going to put the holes down, and uh, we just put it right on top of the shelving to make sure it's aligned, uh, alignment with the holes at the bottom and uh, IKEA providing four screws which you're gonna actually support the shelving from the underneath. Make sure that you're using stroke screwdriver not a gel because it's easy to strip the threads and uh, good luck and good luck with your kitchen and uh, if you like the video please uh, just leave a comment. Thank you.